Hello everybody, it's Eric here. I'm just down here in the Iron Keep, uh, just past the smelter uh, boss demon uh, fighting area. We're at the bonfire here. I did go back to Majula and upgraded my armor as much as I could with the proceeds from the fight. Our armor now is max, except for the mask, which is, I think is a plus six. All right. Um, ironically enough, though, I don't think I'm going to be using any armor for this pursuer boss fight because I'm going to challenge myself to do a no healing, no health loss challenge run for this Pursuer. Thinking back to the first time I met the Pursuer in on this Vanquisher Seal run, I, I, I didn't dodge very well at all. I was kind of rusty and I had an excuse, but this time there's no excuse. I cannot uh, face the Pursuer again and lose even a bit of health without feeling embarrassed. So I am going to challenge myself to do that. Um, I was using way too much Essus on the Sinner and with uh, Smelter Demon as well, so this is my way of just trying to get myself back into a groove where I'm not just sucking, basically. Um, the Porcine Shield. My goodness. Well, I guess that's better than a pork sword. Uh, right, Joe? <laughs> if you're watching. Uh, Joe is my good friend, uh, guys. She's uh, She runs an awesome channel on uh, YouTube. It's it's called Heart Cook's Brain. Um, and she does a, a Let's Play of Dark Souls 2 blind, like nobody's business. It's, it's fun. It's entertaining and she does a ton of editing to make it a really good experience and she stays up late at night to get all these things sorted out for you so definitely give it a check out um, big shout out to her and I'm dedicating this fight to her actually because the pursuer is, is, is somebody she beat uh, but it did take her a while to do it I think the word she used to describe her first experience with Mr. Pursuer was that he ass raped her so I'm going to try my best to uh, pay back the pursuer for, such, for mistreating my good friend Joe so, like that and being mean to her so um, but I'm gonna use the roll here guys okay now look 5% equipment burden means you can roll a nice long way like look at that that's we're going right up the stairs and one roll pretty much okay alright so that's what I'm gonna use to get behind the pursuer and pay him back in, in fashion hitting him in the ass is the best way to do it Okay, so without further ado, let's get her done here. No health loss, I don't want to even lose a little bit of health on this boss. That was pretty intense, <laughs> but uh, 
that's how you can get behind the pursuer and ass rape him back guys alright dedicated to Joe hope you enjoyed that thanks for watching